I wish I could tell you when exactly I knew I was in love with you, but I can't. I do know every single day of the five and a half years I've fallen deeper in love with you. If I'd ever known, I'd ever known how you'd forever change my life. I would up and go, I would up and go, I'd walk out of sight. But I'm glad I rearranged it, rearranged from falling apart. Because you built me a mosaic, a perfect puzzle to capture my heart. And so I promise I'll be there for you. I'll pick you up. When you fall, you know I'll be here when you need me to, you need me to, so you won't have to stand alone. Zach and Madison, this day has finally come, and you have planned it so well. I want to charge you to keep before you that the Bible teaches that love is patient and it's kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects it always trusts, and it always hopes, and it always perseveres. Love never fails. Love and respect are two of the essential attitudes to a successful marriage. As Jesus taught in the Sermon on the Mount, that where your treasure is, there is where your heart will be also. So I want to add one more word to love and respect. I want to add the word invest. That's what we do, is that we invest in each other. Avoid taking each other for granted ever. Three key words that will give you a very wonderful and successful 
even though it will be tested and tried, but a very wonderful, successful marriage is love, respect, and investment. So we have some questions for you. Will you have Madison to be your wife, to live together as husband and wife after God's pattern for marriage, Zach? Do you promise to love her and to comfort her and to honor her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her so long as you both live. If so, would you answer, I will. I will. God bless you. So as you have your hands joined, I want you to repeat these vows after me. Zach, as you look at Madison, will you make these words of commitment to her? I, Zach. I, Zach. Take you, Madison. Take you, Madison. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. I make this vow. I make this vow. According to God's holy command. According to God's holy command. And I give you my word. And I give you my word. That I will be true to you. That I will be true to you. (laughs) I'm Addison. I'm Addison. Take you, Zach. Take you, Zach. To be my husband. To be my husband. (laughs) To have and to hold. (laughs) To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. I make this vow. I make this vow. (laughs) And I give you my word. And I give you my word. That I will be true to you. That I will be true to you. As a servant of the gospel of Jesus and in accordance with the laws of the state of Indiana, I testify that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your wife. And now, dear friends, it's my unique privilege to introduce for the first time Zachary and Madison Davis. Really has been a great 
great six years is getting to know you. He has fit into our family very nicely. Madison, we are so happy and excited for you and Zach. We love you and we are so proud of everything that you've done, especially for here tonight, but just for everything that you've done in your life. We love you and that's the truth. So, raise your glass for these two people. don't know, Madison and Zach had art class together their senior year, and I remember Madison would come home and tell us about how there was this super annoying boy that <laughs> would not be her alone in that class. He was persistent on getting to know her, and she was just as persistent on not letting that happen, but she eventually let her guard down, obviously, and I'm sure both of them are happy that she did. The last five years, I've also been the permanent third wheel to Zach and Madison's relationship since that first kiss in the backseat of my granddad. Well, I shaved the wheel in this crazy style. The whole new relationship is perfect. It's been amazing to see them overcome any challenges they face so far. I believe this is due to the different experiences they have combined. A great marriage involves leaning on each other's strengths to become stronger than you ever could individually. I'm used to the good times that have already happened. To all the good times that are yet to come. Congratulations on your marriage, Zach and Madison. Woo!